everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It's Tuesday, October 21st, 2025. Thanks to one of the uh, subscribers here, our followers on my channel. There was some space debris that was found in Western Australia's Pilbara region. And also last night, there was several airline pilots that reported seeing more debris flying from the heavens. Stick with me and I'll tell you what I found about these two reports. Our planet is surrounded by over 36,000 tracked objects, old satellites, rocket fragments, and even tools lost in space. Traveling at 17,000 miles per hour, a single piece can spell disaster. Yeah, just recently a airliner was hit in its windshield, the front windshield by a suspected piece of space debris. Luckily, the multi-layered glass on the front held, but there was spider webs of fractures and the pilot was injured when it um, hit the uh, top right corner of the front uh, window of the airline. There has been reports of space debris crashing through people's homes, going through multiple story houses, just feet away from where people are sleeping. Yesterday, miners in Western Australia's Kabara region stumbled across a suspected propellant tank from a Chinese Long Mach rocket. The Australian Space Agency confirmed it's non-hazardous, but this re-entry of an uncontrolled object does raise alarm. I have a video here that I took from Space Track, um, and you might want to Pause the video as I show you the different satellites. Majority of them are Starlink, but I did find the one that crosses the U U.S. from North Korea. And there's also a meteorite um, in this video, um, an asteroid maybe that they're tracking on keeptrack.com. In 2022, SpaceX debris littered New South Wales farms in an Indian rocket parts have washed up on their shores. Over 8,000 metric tons of junk orbit Earth, and there seems to be more and more that uh, they need to track every day. It's getting to be like a game of Russian roulette with their skies and cities and airlines. At around 7 p.m. last night, pilots on multiple flights, including a Riyadh jet, reported a spect spectacular display a bright spiraling light over the Irish Sea, described as a cosmic bonfire. I'll play a clip of that tape for you. For Yankee Romeo request. All right, go ahead, sir. Just, if you're not busy, have you got any traffic significantly high above us in our 11 o'clock? Bright lights swirling and letting off gas, it looks like. Okay, that's uh, a that's, uh, copy, thank you. Yeah, we're getting a plasma that um, uh, is moving now uh, to the east. Explosion. Uh, who was that last call sign, please? I'd say Portugal uh, 1325. Portugal 1325, Roger, and confirm you're observing it now? Uh, it just disappeared now. It looks like an explosion and then uh, it was moving eastwards and now it's uh, disappeared. Copied. Sharma 3 and Kiromi, are you still observing it? Yeah, it disappeared for us too. We started seeing it about two minutes ago. It illuminated very bright and then kind of broke up into a, a circular array and disappeared. And this is from the south of your position, confirmed? It was to the west of our position. It's currently, well, it's gone from sight, but I'd imagine it's just a beam us now on our left hand side. Okay, copied. And interestingly, our weather radar is painting something as well. Of uh, information you're getting on the weather uh, radar screen. It's just the same sort of return we would if it was reflecting off an aircraft. Copies. One of the, of the pilots said it was nothing like he's ever seen in 30 years of flying. Swirls of light, gas trails. They thought it was a meteor shower gone mad. Um, but it did show up on the weather radar. It was confirmed that there was no military drills, but it turns out it was a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched from Florida hours earlier, venting gas gases, excess 
propellant. The sunlight caught the gas, creating a dazzling sh show visible from Ireland to Scotland. And to think, just last night I reported the earthquake swarm there in the highlands of Scotland. What a coincidence, huh? That time it wasn't debris falling, but it is a stark reminder of how crowded our orbits are getting. Shannon Air Traffic Control logged three reports from three different airlines. I bet they were all relieved it wasn't a collision risk. The Australian Space Agency and Global Partners are urging stricter regulations, mandatory deorbit plans for new satellites and rockets. The space above Earth here is getting to be a cluttered highway, and these incidents remind us of how Everything that they're doing up there in space comes with a cost. It's just a matter of time before someone is hurt or killed. They know they need to clean up the area there in space. But how in the world would they do it? They've come up some, with some different scenarios, some really crazy ideas. Some of the space debris is so small, but yet threatening. I remember, oh, what was it? Oh, a paint chip, I think it was, that hit the space station one of their windows and cracked the glass. Granted, a paint chip would not make it through re-entry here on Earth, but yeah, it could damage other satellites and cause more debris. And, you know, that, that debris from the satellites, yeah, that could affect Earth. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please share, please thumbs up my videos. It'll help with the, the ranking here on YouTube. And put your thoughts down below how you think they could clean up space. Always be prepared for a disaster, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.